Hey team, Rob here. Welcome to the video. Today, something a wee bit different. We're going to take the specialised Turbo Levo all the way up the Bowen Vale Valley to the top of Vic Park. Now this is a ride that I've done uh, once because I thought it was a good idea. Turns out it wasn't it's so steep. But uh, with the Levo, we're not going to have any problems. Actually, the last time I did go up here was Gravity Canterbury Enduro a couple of years ago when we went up it three times and it was horrible. So I'm going to strap you onto the top of the Specialized Tactic 4 helmet and we're just going to crank up the hill all the way to the top of Vic Park. Well, let's go. Let's put this into turbo and get going. Because not only is this hill, even just the full drive here, a lot steeper in real life than it looks on camera, it's a lot steeper in real life than it looks in real life. Compared to the hills around it, it doesn't look like much. It's actually quite substantial, and I also hate it. But I do not hate this bike. It is truly amazing. Now the ride we're going to do when we get to the top of the hill, also not something I'd usually think about as a spur of the moment thing but we go all the way up Vic Park left on to Traverse to Traverse to the Mount Vernon track then we're going to do Witch Hill and head all the way along to Castle Rock do the Castle Rock track turn around come back home muck around in Vic Park a wee bit So there'll be a couple of trails there that we've never done on camera. And of course this trail we're riding right now, gone down a lot of times, never gone up it. Check this out team. The exit track from uh, Vic Park to Bowenvale Valley been turned into a highway. How cool is that? I tell you it was really nice to ride down on Friday night after my Vic Park session in there. Because if you ever throw back to some of the downhills this year where we were riding out, this was a uh, real rocky, quite rutty sort of one ride line which then you had to share with walkers but not anymore all right now we're getting into the real steep stuff uh, in January this year All around excellent guy, top mountain biker and good friend of mine, Max Hides. Knocked out an Everest. Going from where we started at the top of Bonvale Vale, Bone Vale Ave, all the way to the top of Vic Park. Down fence line. Ponos. He knocked out 
an insane amount of laps. Pretty sure it was in the in the twenties to get the eight thousand eight hundred and fifty meters. Like twenty three hours, twenty one hours, top effort max. All right, into the second part of double drop, which is the first part going up. Even on the Levo, that's steep. This is some granny ring territory. Mm. And we're spinning. I've never once in my life ridden up here before on an acoustic bike. I've tried, it's too steep for me. It's not too steep for the Levo. How good. You're a mad dog riding up there all those times, Max. Legend. Right, hit the Texco jumps. Now this is the part of the track I'd get back on my normal bike and start riding. But it's an absolute slog. This bit's not so bad, flattens out a wee bit. Bit of downhill. Just up there is the Hono's rock slab crux feature. Pretty cool piece of track. The one time I did this for, quote, fun, Steve and I thought it'd be quicker to just come straight up Bowenvale than we'll be to ride all the way around to Rapaki, Mount Vernon, Traverse, and then to Flying Nun. And it uh, definitely was faster, but was it easier? No way. This steep. Get some wild gears. Just a wee bit about the bike. Current model 2223 specialized turbo Levo. Full power version. It's the big 700 watt hour battery. The new specialized 2.2 power motor right now we get into the 
real steep part. This bike's a mullet, so 29 front, 27.5 rear. Equipped with the large 2.6 inch wide T9 Butcher at the front. T7 Eliminator at the back, plenty of grip out of those bad boys. This S4 size, big 220mm front rotor, 200mm rear rotor, 175mm dropper post, 780mm wide bars. It's equipped with Fox suspension, a rhythm fork with 160mm travel, and a Floatex shock with 150. And it's just a beast. SRAM Kodar brakes, SRAM Eagle GX 12 speed drivetrain. Right, got to get up here without wheel spinning. This is real steep. Keep the front wheel down too. All right. Lost that, but there was the worst part. It's not over. This piece of track we're on now, I have ridden up on my own acoustic bike. But it's a grind. Because to sort of the midpoint, super steep. So the old expression, make hay while the sun shines, I'm uh, taking full advantage of having the use of the Levo for the weekend, kindly lent out by Chain Reaction here in Christchurch. So we went out Friday night, blasted up to the Nun, did some Vic Park, like four laps of Vic Park. <laughs> Yesterday we went out to Littleton with my brothers, Mel and Steve. I went up there and down there like four times. And now today, doing this big Bowen Vale across the top mesh. Any one of these rides would be more than enough to put me out for a few days in my current state of fitness. But with the Levo, yeah, my legs are tired. Because there's definitely more riding in consecutive days than I'd usually do. <laughs> but I can just keep going. Just the power ride more trails. So once we get through that cattle stop now, could just turn left and go along Worm to get to Traverse, but uh, we'll go right to the top of Vic, to the car park and then back in. Yeah. Right, let's see if we can get up this horrible rocky single track without wheel spinning or falling over. Got the sun right in my eyes. It might be in your eyes too. I think we're about to do it. Don't get too cocky but We've done it. That's pretty cool. Oh, 
way. So just looking at the timer on the back of the GoPro, we're at 15 minutes 20. So that's from when I started talking to you guys to the top of the hill. So that's pretty nuts to get up here that fast. All with the power of a specialized Levo. So, like normal, like if you've liked, subscribe, see you see the next one. Till next time team, ride on.